All right, what's going on everybody? Today I have another video. Don't really know what inspired me to do this video, but I can tell you that I was a little bit inspired when it came to the action figure. So um, for the past couple months now, I guess I've been on a Star Wars craze again. Uh, like once a year or something like that, I get on a huge Star Wars binge and then I guess go crazy about it for a few months and then I'm over it and then back again. So, I don't know if you heard that, but if you did, that was a dog. So, basically what I wanted to do was try out my customizing skills, which I do not really have and never really tried to do any custom figure work. So in front of me, I have a Black Series Stormtrooper, um, one of the two that I own, and I decided to basically just take some paint to it and see what happened. So obviously, as you can tell, the goal was to make it look weathered. Uh, this is something that I know a lot of people in the Star Wars action figure community do to their figures. It can look really great if you're experienced, um, and it could also be really awesome for photos or videos, different things, whatever you want to do. But basically, since the only uh, weathered Stormtrooper that we have so far is sort of expensive and the weathering is fairly light, I feel like everyone just does it on their own, which actually makes it look cooler because it's not completely uniformed weathering for each figure so basically what i did i don't have the paint with me because i actually put it up like an idiot but i took some basic uh apple barrel paint you know the paint that everyone uses for dioramas and different things because it's really cheap it's like less than a dollar for a two ounce bottle um and then i just took some uh paint brushes that were laying around the house so pretty much all I really had to pay for was the figure itself because my sister had already bought everything else for different projects. So basically what I started with was some brown. It wasn't like the uh, actual brown paint. It's more of like a coffee color. We'll get to this in a second. So basically what I did was just kind of uh, take a little bit here and there and uh, the goal was to make it look like all of the dirt was fresh on the uh, armor. So I was kind of going for a real thick, heavy, thrown on, muddy-ish, sandy look. But I don't, I don't know. To me, it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but you know, what does basically. <laughs> so... I didn't really go at all on certain parts. Um, I can still update this uh, action figure in the future. Uh, I kind of got bored of it, so I thought that I would stop and go ahead and make the video and then see what the comments had to say about it, what I could improve, different things like that. So let me know if I could do more weathering, different techniques, things like that, that you all know that I have no clue about because I would love to hear it. So here's the arm, a little bit of black paint. So I use two colors. I use one brown and one black. And basically to get the, I didn't have another brown, so I couldn't really go lighter and darker. So I pretty much just tried to make it thicker to make it look a little bit darker. I know obviously I could have went to the store and got some, but I just wanted to use what I had around the house. So this is what I came up with. I did a little bit of a, scoring took a little bit of a box cutter blade but i kind of gave up on that because i didn't know how much i should go uh, you know i'm she's arm <laughs> like right here on the chest those are all marks that i cut and then painted over to get the lines i did that i don't actually remember where i did it um i did a tiny bit on one of the shoulders and then I did it on the helmet, which I think the helmet scoring kind of looks the best. There's three lines there and three lines there. Probably could have spread it out a little more, did a little bit more on the front. I should probably do some like right here at the top. 
But for now, this is how it came out. And this is um, how I'm gonna leave it until I can get some feedback. Probably gonna post it on Instagram to see what uh, feedback I can get. I don't really know. I would like to take it to someone who knows what they're doing to get them to do it, but I would I wanted to try to do it myself before I did that. So um yeah, that's basically it. Here's a comparison between the really clean, which looking at the two side by side, they both look awesome in their own respects. I like the really clean, glossy vibes. It's uh Honestly, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just awesome. And then the, uh, so I love the clean look, but I didn't want to go with all of my stormtroopers being clean. So I have one clean and then one battle worn now. So I wanted one to be really cool for like photo shoots and things like that. And then one to just have a before version of for this guy. So here's the before and here's the after. Uh, you can kind of tell, obviously. I still think the, uh, at the moment, the clean new Stormtrooper is probably my favorite out of the two. Uh, partly because of this, so I'm sure you're all wondering, why is his arm falling off? So basically, I didn't realize that Black Series Stormtroopers, or maybe Black Series figures in general, are not like normal action figures. So I'm used to SH Figure Arts and different toys that have just a peg that pegs in and you can pop the arms out and pop them back in no problem. So it's not a big deal because obviously you can still, like the articulation's still there, you can put it back in, It you just gotta go under a little bit and there you go. And then it won't fall out like that, but every time you move it, you pretty much have to pop it back in if you wanna do certain things. But so pretty much when I was prepping the figure, I was cleaning up soap and water and I didn't know that, you know, the peg hole is completely different. I also got a lot of brown paint there, so I might clean that up, might just leave it, honestly. I don't, probably forget about it. But I didn't know that there was just tension. So there's a peg that broke off because I ripped it off thinking that, oh, there's just paint extra paint in there or something you know holding it on because i saw that this was already taken out so i was like 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 this was already out like that so i'm sitting there like oh what i do and so i just ripped it and so now that's broken and i cannot fix it because i don't know how to even begin to fix that peg so there's a tension little peg on the top and then i guess you could say on the bottom as well now <laughs> And I don't understand the point of the middle one, but basically I broke it when I was cleaning it because I thought I was gonna take the figure apart, clean it, paint it, and then put it back together. So I only did it to that arm, obviously, because I realized what was wrong. And I didn't wanna break the other one. So the other arm's perfectly fine for now. Just that one is popped off. So I could also for photo shoots and things, have him be the one-armed dead soldier on the ground if I wanted to. But that's gonna wrap this video up. Just thought I would upload another video because I was having fun and didn't know who would wanna see it or not, but I thought I would share. So if you like the video or at least like some of my other videos and want me to improve and do a little better, I have a donation link in my about section on my channel. I don't really know how to get there from a viewer perspective because I've never attempted to donate to someone like that. But basically, since I'm not partnered with YouTube, I don't really have any sponsorships or anything like that because my channel is not big enough. The only way I can really get paid for this is if you guys are happy and want to donate on your own. If you do, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Just you being here and watching the video is enough for me to be happy about it. He won't stand up or I would let go. <laughs> Um, so there's a, uh, that, and then another thing, if you do also like the video and you want to leave a like rating, that'd be great. You can leave a dislike if you want to, that'll help me, uh, change the way I do things a little bit. If you do dislike the video, I would also like to request a reason why you dislike the video in the comments. That would also help me. 
And then um, if you're feeling generous and wanna leave an actual like, that'd be great too, because I know YouTube's algorithm is interesting and there's not a lot that you can really do to grow your channel besides just keep posting. So if you like the video, that'll help me get recognition, which would be great. And then the last thing is, if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't want to see more videos, I don't know why you stayed this long. But that's going to be it. Everyone have a good day, and I'll see you when I see you.